What's up, Vikings? I'm Cameron. And I'm Sam. And this week's broadcast will cover many topics, such as our student-athlete trainers and vocal music. And a segment about our esports team and our Viking in the Village. Let's first take a look at our student trainers and all that they do for our athletes. Student trainers spend lots of their time helping out our athletes. My name is Celeste and I've been a student trainer for two years. I started my junior year and this is my last year doing it. Uh, my name is Alex Linden. I've been a trainer for three years. My favorite part is probably just the atmosphere and then being around all the football players and having conversations with them. I would say more the community and being able to talk to people. I like the socializing aspect of it, but I also find like athletic training in general super interesting. Usually during football practices, depends how early you get there, but if you get there early, you can help tape ankles and wrists. But usually what we do is fill up the caddies if we need any, or fill up the water boys, take them out to the field, and then that's just what we do for the football boys. I kind of just watch the players. If they get hurt, then we talk to them and ask them. The challenging part is probably just seeing all the hurt players and have, knowing that if they're senior, then their season's done, and having to experience that with them is kind of just weird. Sometimes during the football games, there's a lot of pressure and it gets really overwhelming because there's just, you know, it gets serious, competitive, whatever, but that's kind of it. A huge thank you to the student trainers for all the help that they give our players. Thanks to all of our trainers for helping out our athletes. Northwest offers many activities for students to participate in. One of these activities is vocal music. Let's go check out the vocal music classes that Northwest has to offer. The vocal music department has had a tradition of success at Northwest High School. This is my fifth year working at Northwest with all the choirs. We have a few different choirs uh, for anybody of any level. Um, we have the, the top audition group, which would be Gold Tones, which is a, a small ensemble, about six people for each voice part, um, sing a lot of a cappella stuff. Um, at Christmas time, they go around and carol. Then there's the, the two show choirs, which again are auditioned groups. Um, you have the varsity show choir, 14 Karat. Um, and then the preparatory show choir, which is Bella Voce. Again, that's an audition in the spring. Um, if you are a lady who wants to audition um, or who wants to sing in the choirs, you can be in Bel Canto if you don't want to audition. Um, that is a, a class that just sings. You don't have to audition, you just show up and sing. There's no dancing involved. Um, then we have the freshman choir, um, which again, um, is just for freshmen. Um, not an auditioned group. Anybody who wants to sing can be in there. I've had a lot of really fun memories. Um, I tend to remember the people more than just the days. My very first year here, 14 Karat hadn't won a grand championship in the group's, um, the, the seniors' history um, being here, and um, they had barely made finals, and, and we went to Gish, and I remember just watching some of those seniors on stage cry when they realized that they had won. BV hadn't been a group the year before, and we brought that back, um, and they actually made finals and got best costumes and a bunch of other stuff, so I think watching that group and just how how hungry they were for a win um, and just to kind of feel like they had accomplished something it was that was a pretty um, a pretty vivid memory for me just to see those seniors who had worked so hard finally kind of accomplish the goal that they had set out to accomplish we'd like to wish the music department the best of luck this year check out their concert in december wow i wish i could sing like they do if singing isn't for you why don't you talk to Mr. Hinkle about joining eSports? That seems like a really good idea. The eSports team traveled to Scotts Bluff last week for a tournament. Let's go find out how they did. The Northwest eSports team had the opportunity to travel to Scotts Bluff for a tournament the weekend of October 6th. My name is Dylan Kirk, and for eSports I play Rocket League, Valorant, Mario Kart, and Fortnite. Rocket League is a car soccer game where you can have up to two to eight people on the field at once. And the main objective is to try and score as many goals on the other team as possible within a five minute time period. My name is Geronimo Gutierrez. I play Overwatch and Smash Bros. Overwatch is like a, a really team competitive game where you would have two people who do damage, two supports like healer, and then one like brute, one guy of just muscle. And you have to use those people to the best of their advantage. I'm Killian Baxter. I play Valorant, Overwatch, I usually use PC. I recently built mine. It was quite expensive. I play on a computer that I built myself, or if I'm at school, I play on the Macs. I play Overwatch on Xbox, and I play Smash Bros on GameCube and Switch. 
I decided to come to Scotts Bluff because my family lives not that far away and I grew up here. It's a pretty fun experience. And I also just wanted to come along for the ride. I decided to come on this trip because I thought it would be fun and I don't usually go out very much. For Overwatch, we placed in the finals and we lost, sadly. For Smash Bros, I didn't place anything. I did make it kind of far though. The Overwatch though was a lot more competitive. Uh, personally, I think I played pretty well. We placed second place in Overwatch after some really close games. While we didn't get first place, we had a lot of fun and that's what really matters. I played okay. We made it to finals, complete sweep. In finals, we had a tough competition of Scotts Bluff's Rocket League 1 team. But overall, we got the dub. Congratulations to the Northwest Esports team and good luck on the rest of your season. I had a great time in Scotts Bluff. I've had lots of fun being a part of esports throughout high school. You know what else is fun? What's that? Tongue twisters. Welcome back to this week's Viking in the Village. I'm Brennan. I'm Cameron. And this week we'll be doing tongue twisters. Are you good at tongue twisters? Am I? I guess. Say toy boat five times. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. 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 How are you with tongue twisters? I'm alright. Like how alright? Good. 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 Say toy boat five times as fast as humanly possible. Toy boat. Again. Toy boat. Faster. Toy boat. Fast. Toy boat. Fast. Wait. Toy boat. Fast. Toy boat. Who am I here with? Snowy chef. Okay, I have some tongue twisters for you today. All right. Okay. What's the first word? Scampering. Oh, scampering. Squirrels silently. S <laughs> What's that word? Stealthily. Store. <laughs> store sweet sunflower seeds. That was terrible. Okay. Go again. Scampering squirrels silently, stealthily store sweet sunflower seeds. Thanks for checking out this week's broadcast. I'm Cameron. And I'm Sam. See, See you, you next week. week.